Canadian Space Watch, astronomers say they've been receiving radio signals from a distant galaxy. Scientists with Canada's Chime Observatory say one of their telescopes picked up 13 bursts of fast radio waves, known as FRBs. We have always wondered what secrets lie beyond the reaches of our own planet and whether we are truly alone in the universe. And now scientists have discovered something truly remarkable, a single massive source in space that is sending us thousands of messages. But is it a natural phenomenon or could it be something more? The sheer scale and consistency of the messages are unprecedented and scientists are left with more questions than answers. Fast radio bursts were only first detected 13 years ago from immense explosions millions of light years away. Join us as we explore what this massive object is and answer the question, why and how it is transmitting radio messages to the Earth. Number one, mysterious messages from deep space. While this might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's actually happening in real life as mysterious radio bursts are being detected from deep space at an unprecedented rate. These fast radio bursts, FRBs, are immensely powerful signals that flash for just milliseconds before vanishing without a trace. Their origins have scientists scratching their heads, but one source in particular is shattering records with over 1,500 bursts detected in just 47 days. Just like Jodie Foster's character in the movie Contact, scientists have come across a mysterious signal from a galaxy far, far away. This captivating burst was soon nicknamed the Lorimer Burst, marking the first recorded fast radio burst ever found. Little did astronomers know, this quirky signal was the cosmic equivalent of opening Pandora's jar, releasing not darkness, but a strange new light onto mysteries of the universe. Like a genie's magic lamp suddenly illuminated, FRBs have brought discovery after discovery since their 2007 debut. Yet, their cryptic natures continue leaving scientists spellbound in trying to decipher their true origins. Imagine taking a quiet stroll through the woods when suddenly you notice a light flashing in the distance. You walk towards it, only to realize the light is gone. Perplexed, you continue your journey when it flashes again, but this time more intensely before quickly fading out. Now captivated, you track down the area where the light is coming from, only to discover a tiny firefly perched upon a leaf, repeatedly flashing its glow into the dark forest. This curious creature and its blinking patterns may offer the best analogy for the mystifying cosmic phenomenon known as fast radio bursts. Where we look out there and something happens that we've never seen before and then we have to explain them. And fast radio bursts are, are, are a, a perfect example of this. Like those winking bugs weaving flashes of light against the night sky, fast radio bursts, FRBs, are intensely bright pulses of radio waves emitting from distant sources billions of light years away. The signals came from a source 1.5 billion light years away. These intergalactic blinks come and go in milliseconds, appearing and vanishing so quickly that they are immensely difficult to catch. First discovered in 2007, dozens of FRBs zip across space daily, flashing like lighthouse beams for reasons unknown. Astronomers have uncovered over 500 FRBs to date, detecting their distinct signals using ground-based radio telescopes. Yet for all their commonality amongst the stars, the origins of these ultra-bright blinks have continued to evade understanding. Are they natural cosmic phenomena or signs of intelligence beyond our world? Number two, the discovery that started it all. Our story begins in 2007 when astronomer Duncan Lorimer detected something peculiar. Sifting through archival data from the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, Lorimer observed a sudden burst of radio waves that spiked for a mere five milliseconds before disappearing into the ether. This seemingly insignificant blip ended up making scientific history as it completely baffled the team. This burst was radically different from anything Lorimer had seen before. Its signal was extremely bright and highly dispersed, meaning lower radio frequencies arrived later than higher frequencies. This pointed to a likely celestial origin as the pulse passed through ionized interstellar gas that slowed the lower frequencies. But what in the cosmos could create such a short, sharply swept burst? 
Labeled the Lorimer Burst, this event marked the first recorded instance of a fast radio burst. Although astronomers later uncovered earlier detections in unrelated archival data. But in 2007, FRBs were still a mysterious phenomenon, prompting newfound interest in these unexplainable interstellar flashes. Yet aside from intelligent aliens trying to phone ET home, numerous hypotheses attempt to explain FRBs through natural astrophysical means. Their distant reaches suggest incredibly compact and energetic sources. Scientists speculate cataclysmic origins like neutron stars colliding, white dwarf explosions, magnetized pulsars, and more. One magnetar in our own Milky Way galaxy was even caught emitting an FRB-like burst, perhaps supporting highly magnetic neutron stars as a source. But are all FRBs made equal? Differences in bursts suggest multiple cosmic engines may be required to power these interstellar blinks. Number 3. The Breakthrough of Repeating FRBs Just like meteors zipping across our skies, most observed FRBs were one-time events, never to be detected from the same source again. This made them nearly impossible to study. But in 2012, astronomers found something game-changing, the first repeating FRB. This repeater, FRB 112102, sent multiple radio bursts from the same location, allowing scientists to finally pinpoint an FRB home galaxy. Traced back to a dwarf galaxy over 3 billion light years away, FRB 112-112 rattled outbursts in a semi-regular fashion, following a pattern of 90 days active, followed by 67 days quiet. In 2019, astronomers turned the powerful 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, FAST, in China towards FRB 11102. In just 47 days, FAST detected a whopping 1,152 bursts from this single source, the most FRBs ever recorded from one object. At times, FAST picked up 122 bursts in merely one hour, the highest FRB rate ever observed. These results revealed FRB 112.1102's bursts could be sorted into two main categories, weaker and chaotic bursts versus brighter and more periodic bursts, suggesting two mechanisms at play. But despite this abundance of new data, the original question remained, what is causing these bright cosmic winks across the universe? With breakthroughs in radio astronomy and increased interest in FRBs, new telescopes specially designed to solve their mystery have come online in recent years, upping the chances of catching FRBs flashing by in real time. The Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, CHIME, became the first telescope to detect an FRB live as it happened in 2018. Using this technique on repeating bursts like FRB 1121 Wemo 2 allows more immediate follow-up at other wavelengths, expanding the clues available in each flash. Already, a gamma-ray burst has been associated with this source during active FRB states, perhaps the smoking gun linking FRBs to magnetized stars. And just recently, the powerful Deep Synoptic Array 10 Antenna Prototype, DSA-10, caught its very first burst, with hopefully many more illuminations to come. Number 4. Detecting the Source Fast radio bursts remain wrapped in a shroud of mystery, their origins obscured through the vast gulfs of intergalactic space. Yet, like following a trail of cosmic breadcrumbs, each new repeating signal detected provides researchers with vital clues that may finally lead to unraveling FRB properties conclusively. Advancements in radio astronomy over the last decade have allowed more precise tracking of these elusive bursts dashing through the heavens. New high-tech installations like the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, FAST, in China, and the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, CHIME, telescope, have opened windows for viewing and capturing FRBs like never before. Already these sensitive giant dishes have uncovered over 500 fast radio bursts, along with the first real-time bursts spotted flashing across the skies. Yet mysteries persist even amongst these new revelations. In 2019, astronomers uncovered a repeating fast radio burst they dubbed FRB 190520, using the powerful Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array VLA, radio observatory based in New Mexico. This powerful instrument, 
comprised of 27 enormous dish antennas working in concert, gave scientists an unprecedented opportunity to pinpoint FRB 190520's exact source location as it traces an obscure path millions to billions of light years long back through interstellar space. Through the VLA's ultra-high precision observations, astronomers successfully traced the signal to a massive spiral galaxy over 3 billion light years away. But strangely, a persistent radio source was also spotted coinciding with the location of FRB 190520. Only the second time such a long-lasting emission has been tied to an FRB directly. This offers clues into not just burst progenitors themselves, but also their surrounding environments. Additionally, based on measurements of how dispersed FRB 190520's signal appeared, astronomers estimated its distance could be upwards of 30 billion light years if solely based on models predicting dispersion relative to distance. Compare this to the precise 3 billion light years of the pinpointed spiral galaxy, and inconsistencies become apparent in the dispersion distance relationship previously relied upon to approximate FRB locales and properties when galaxy tracking proves difficult. Clearly, dispersion alone provides only a rough guide at best versus identifying an FRB's home galaxy directly through methodical triangulation of signal across Earth's surface. And for the over 500 FRBs detected, only 19 have had their precise origins traced through astronomical sleuthing so far. Like pieces in a cosmic puzzle, pinpointing more burst host galaxies helps complete the picture of what astrophysical phenomena drive these temporary yet tremendously energetic emissions across time and space. One hypothesis related to the mismatched distance for FRB 190520 involves a conception of FRBs as massive jet streams expelled from a central engine, possibly environmentally confined or operationally intermittent. Imagine a geyser building up subterranean pressure before dramatically erupting in a heated display lasting minutes or even hours. Perhaps FRB outbursts manifest through similar constraints on far grander interstellar scales of course. This could indicate most bursts travel relatively modest distances from progenitors versus crossing the entire visible universe over billions of light years, as dispersion rates might imply absent host galaxy associations. Untangling the true nature of fast radio bursts will require more bursts mapped to known distances relatively free of gas and plasmas, distorting signal interpretations. Already CHIME and other precision FRB pursuits are collecting previously unthinkable datasets, tracking bursts every day that will help resolve these distance inquiry limitations over time. And next-generation observatories like the Square Kilometer Array, now under development promise potentials exceeding today's instruments exponentially. The secrets of fast radio bursts are sure to come more clearly into focus as the cosmic breadcrumb path ahead is traversed deeper through radio astronomy's advancement, illuminating revelations that may fundamentally reshape our understanding of the universe's vast expanse. Number 5. Proposing Explanations Like cryptic transmissions blinking through an alien spyglass, fast radio bursts drift into our radio receivers from cosmic shores unknown. Their origins shrouded, these bright millisecond teases possess immense energy, capable of dwarfing solar systems beyond compare. FRBs may flash worlds apart in the black, yet their dispersed frequencies of fading light insinuate a long and winding journey through stars and dusty nebulae before our wondrous capture here on Earth. What natural astronomical wonder, or hyper-advanced alien technology, is the peculiar originator of these vivid sparks? Hypotheses spin wildly, aiming to explain FRB's perplexing properties and profuse energy requirements. But their diverse flashes scattered wide amongst the glittering heavens scarcely reveal evidence solidifying any singular source. Still, each fragmentary clue, gathered from radio sweeps and telescope archives, draws us nearer the central truth. Tantalizing bursts, once ephemeral and rare, now seem almost commonplace, whistling through the stars. New specialized tools like CHIME and DSA-10 usher in an emerging era with FRBs illuminated in real time. And just recently, 
repeating rivers of signal as the famous FRB-121102 traced precisely home to dwarf galaxies far flung have expanded our bank of secrets significantly. Number six, wrapping up. Like cryptic messages in bottles washing ashore, fast radio bursts drift into our radio telescopes from billions of light years away, each containing an intriguing cosmic mystery. These ultra bright millisecond pulses of radio waves possess immense energy capable of powering trillions of suns. Their origins remain elusive, with hypotheses ranging from flaring magnetars to alien communications. Yet for all their rarity and randomness, FRBs continue to increase in number, with over 500 catalog to date. A special few even repeat their bright winks like clockwork. The record holder, FRB-111102, startled astronomers recently with over 1,500 bursts in just 47 days, the most from any FRB ever observed. With advanced new technology online, more repeating FRBs are being captured, bringing scientists closer to pinpointing origins. Exactly what natural phenomena, or perhaps extraterrestrial bits of intelligence, are churning out these radio bursts is still unknown. But uncovering the secrets hidden inside their signals may radically reshape our understanding of the cosmos as we know it. Please share your thoughts, questions, and speculations about these cryptic space signals in the comments below. We love to hear your perspectives. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more scientific discovery videos like this one.